Hello everybody, it is Lauren coming at you today with a Ipsy and Birch Box on opening for November 2014. So yeah, let's just go right on ahead and see what Ipsy brought me on this awesome month, which is also my birthday month too, because hopefully they surprised me. So this one's theme for Ipsy is Girl Meets Glitter. Not a bad theme, if I may add. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's just get right into the bag. So the first product is from Elizabeth Mott. This is the Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and it's called You're So Fine. Now many of you know by now I do not wear eyeliner. I choose not to wear eyeliner. This is actually a really nice packaging. I really, really like it. And the pen. It's so fine. <laughs> Couldn't help myself there with the pun. But um, yeah, it's not bad. The next one is from JCAT Beauty. This is their Wonder Lip Paint in Mad Splatter. Love the Alice in Wonderland pun there with that. This is actually not a bad deep plum color. I actually do not mind if it's a plum. I don't know. That's the lip paint. The next product I got is from Rouge Underground. So I got a makeup setting spray. I don't own too many of these, so that's pretty exciting. The next one is from Demeter. I got the Pixie Dust Perfume Oil Roll On, which I it smells really yummy. It smells like cotton candy. Let me do it. Oh yeah, it smells really, really good. Perfume roll-ons are nice anyway, so. Next one's from It Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Under Eye Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer with full coverage. That was a mouthful. And neutral medium. This looks pretty nice, so I'm excited for that. Now, on to Birchbox. So Birchbox's theme this month is giving. Very appropriate theme for November, if I may add. November isn't just about pumpkin pie and holiday shopping, though we support both traditions. It's also about giving back. This month we're partnering with Red to raise money and awareness for the global fight against AIDS. And we need your help. We'll donate $1 every time you share a photo of the facts on your box and tag it with hashtag ShawRed. We can't wait to see what the Power of Birchbox community can do. Thankfully, Ka Haley, Katya, and the Birchbox team. So we're going to go right on in to see what I got for this month's box. So the first product I have is the Catherine Mal Malandrino. It is a her fragrance of the same name. So full size is over $110. So if it's that good of a fragrance, it must be worth the bargain to me. This the designer's first ever scent mingles summery fruits and florals for an elegant vibe. This actually does smell really good. I actually really like this. It's fresh. Like it. Next from Cynthia Rowley, I got the creamy lip stain in the shade Heartthrob. This is actually $20 full size, which is not too bad. It's a long wearing stain from the NYC based designer that gives unbeatable moisture and shine. Now, I personally don't own any lip stains. So this will be something new to try. So excited for that. And then from Else Lore or El or East Lore, this is the Firmagene Collagen Day Cream. The full size is $85. It's a radiant boosting paraben free cream that boosts elasticity and keeps wrinkles at bay. And actually it's not too heavy in scent. So that's also really good too. Which is nice. So, I better make my skin pretty. That's all I know about that. The next product is from Laura Mercier. This is her Full Bloom Volume Supreme Mascara. This full size bad boy here is $25, which is not bad for a mascara, especially a high end mascara. This is a water resistant formula that lengthens, volumizes, and curls without clumping or faking. 
Now, personally, I prefer waterproof because it holds a better curl. Even though it's a pain in the butt to take off, I would prefer that more. Now, they threw in a bonus, which is the Laura Mercier Very Famous Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. And this bad boy full size is 23 not 23 $43. So you get three different shades. You get the nude, the sand, and the tan. Now, this I can get in the magazine, but... Not bad to try out. Can't wait to see how much use I'm going to get out of it. <laughs> Next is the Make Eye Makeup Remover Full Size. It's $22. With a one-two punch, this formula removes makeup and soothes the delicate skin. Now, I don't own, I own way too many eye makeup removers, but it doesn't hurt to have too many. Now, this next one, this is a bonus product, and I... <laughs> They threw in the Chugo Chocolatier Maple Bacon Chocolate Bar. Now, you, many of you know, if you've seen my vegetarian video, I do not personally eat bacon, but I got this thrown into my box, so hopefully one of my friends like it. They're going to have to try this anyway, because you ain't getting this tried on camera. Sorry! So, that is pretty much everything I received in this month's Ipsy and Birch box. Let me know down in the comments what you personally got in yours. And yeah, that, it will be everything. I will link all the fun jibber jabber down below. So, hopefully you enjoyed it, like I already said. Anyways, I hope to see you in a, my next video. Bye!